Enter. Finish with your tray, love. Yes, thank you, Gladys. Well, tomorrow's the big day, then. What big day? You know, the wedding. Ali and Sue Lee. Oh, that. Yes. I had a long talk with that girl last week about her future. Oh, that was nice. However, in spite of all I said, she's decided to go through with it. Well, there's nothing wrong in getting married. You ought to try it. <laughs> I am perfectly happy as I am, thank you. Miss Courtney? Yes? Can I be a bit personal? If you must. Have you never been with a, a man? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know... Certainly not. I prefer a hot water bottle. <laughs> At least you can hold it against you without it getting amorous. <laughs> well, have you never wanted to get married? Well... There was one occasion, oh. many years ago, mm -hmm. a boy I was very fond of. In fact, we were inseparable. <laughs> he asked me to elope with him. Oh, how romantic. And did you? Almost. We set off one morning for Gretna Green, but I'm afraid we never quite made it. How far did you get? Golders Green. <laughs> <laughs> My father caught up with us and dragged me back home. Oh, he forbade me to see the boy again. Said we were far too young. Oh, what a shame. How old were you? <laughs> he was eight and I was six. <laughs> Still, never mind, dearie. I know there's somewhere, someone somewhere waiting for you. Then he'll have a very long wait. <laughs> I have no intention of subjugating myself to any member of the male sex. Oh, so I take it you think women are equal to men? Certainly not. Women are far superior. <laughs> So you won't be at the wedding tomorrow? No. I have better things to do with my time than go and watch two people embarking on such a foolish enterprise. Oh, well, I'm going. I love weddings. And I think they'll make a lovely couple. Hey! Help yourself, everybody! Oh. It's a lovely spumante, eh? Ah, Suri thank for you. you. Thank you. And Ali for you. A lovely uh, glass. Sorry, no. It is against my religion to drink. It is also against my religion. <laughs> oh, another miracle, Giovanni? No, professori. We drink the health of the happy couple. You have a glass, huh? Yes, well, I suppose it is a special occasion. Eh, hey, prego. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, what about a toast, then? Eh? Uh, we have no toast. Only kisses. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean a toast for Ali and Suli. We have no toast for them, either. <laughs> To Ali and Suli. To Ali, Ali and, and Suli. May all your troubles be little ones. <laughs> little ones what? <laughs> it's an English expression. It means to hope that you have a family, a baby. Oh, blimey. I'm doing something about it last night. <laughs> yes. I'm preparing a little room for nursery. Ah. Please. I am having a very funny thought. He is Pakistani. She is Chinese. If they have a baby, it'll be Pakinese. <laughs> How dare you? This is a chicken you not to be insulting. You ignorant son of a bearded cook. Come on, lady. You are son of the offspring of a cook. I can't. All right, that'll do. Come on. Well, let's not forget why we're here. You still have a lot to learn. Now, back to your places, everyone, and put those glasses away. Right. Now, this evening, I, I thought we'd try and have a, a group discussion, all right? Yes? We'll uh, pick a subject and then uh, we'll all discuss it thoroughly. Now, what would you like to discuss? <coughs> Girls! <laughs> I don't think so, Giovanni. Anybody, any other suggestions? Sport. Sport, yes, good idea. That's a good subject, Max. Right, sport. Now, although uh, most sports are international, there are, of course, various activities which are peculiar to individual countries. For example, the national sport of France is... Um, Football! Good. Well done, Daniel. And the national sport of Italy? Girls. <laughs> That's not a sport. Maybe not, but it's more popular than football. Truly, <laughs> what is the national sport of China? China excellent at everything, especially table tennis and athletics. Japan, much more athletical. Champions of karate. Chinese Kung Fu much superior to Japanese Kalate. Not so. I'm a black belt. Kung Fu much inferior. Hi-ya! 
Oh, 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 all right, better do. Come on, we don't want any more Oriental punch-ups. Go and sit down. Right, who can tell me what the national sport of England is? Yes, Jamila? Bowling. Bowling? I'm bowling green. Bowling. Oh, bowls? Ah, oh, well, yes, that's not exactly the national sport. No, that honour goes to cricket. Please. I not understand cricket. Well, it's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, there are two teams of 11 men each, and one side goes in, and the other side have to try and get them out. I didn't know you could play it in the doors. <laughs> it's not played indoors. Yeah, but how can somebody be out when he's already out? <laughs> well, I'll try to explain. You see, the team that is bowling is on the field, and the team that is batting is in the pavilion. Now, the first two men, batsmen, come out to go in. And then uh, the first one of those to be out goes back in, and then another batsman comes out to go in. Is that clear so far? Oh, sure. When he's in, he's not really in, he's out. And when he's out, he's not really out, he's in. That's right. Panayamu, it's crazy. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, you're wanted straight away. It's Miss Courtney. And she said it's very important. Oh, uh, thank you, Gladys. I shall be a moment. Um, Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Good. And pick a subject. <laughs> OK. Now we talk about the girls. <laughs> Enter. You sent for me, Miss Courtney? Yes. Oh, this is the teacher, Mr. Brown. I am hearing much about you. Oh, I hope it's all good. This young lady has called to see Mr. Nadim. Oh, Ali, you're a friend of his then? More than a friend. You're not his sister, right? No, I am his wife. Ah. <laughs> Tonight, after class, we take you in at the pub, huh? Yes, and we're having a big feast. Si, big fiesta, plenty drink. It is the last night of Freedom. Thank you, please. But it is not necessary. I do not drink. Don't be selfish. <laughs> it's a tradition. The night before the wedding, for the bridegroom to be slashed. <laughs> I think you all men are male chauvinist pig. Why you not invite us to the pub? What? And spoil the evening? <laughs> you make your own fiesta. <laughs> we go to PUBG. All ladies. No, please. Jamila is right. We have our own celebration. Mm. That's right. Ali. Yes, please. Could I see you, please? You are seeing me now. <laughs> I mean, I want to see you in private in Miss Courtney's office. It's rather important. OK. Oh, excuse me. I will be back very soon, my beloved. Oh, <laughs> oh l'amour. Toujours l'amour. I wonder what was so important for Mr. Brown to be telling Ali. And maybe he's going to tell him the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Ali. Thank you. Where's, um... I've sent her to the tea room. Oh, good. Well, I think it might be a good idea if Ali and I were left alone. I, I presume you'll speak to Miss Suley. You presume wrong. I think Mr. Nadim should do his own dirty work. <laughs> oh, well, Ali. Yes, please. But I'm not going to beat about the bush. What bush? <laughs> I have just met your wife. Oh, jolly good. And I must say, it came as rather a shock. Excuse, please. She's not all that bad looking. <laughs> no, 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 Ellie, you don't understand. You are a married man. Oh, yes. Well, then how can you possibly be thinking of marrying Sue Lee tomorrow? Why not? Well, it's big of me. Oh, no. It is big of me. <laughs> You don't understand. You can't have two wives. Oh, yes, please. It is allowed by my religion. If the first wife is agreeable, then the husband can take another. You mean your wife doesn't mind? Not at all. It is to have the baby. Baby? Yes, please. We have been now trying for four years, and nothing is happening. So I'm taking another wife to have the babies. <laughs> yeah, well, it's against the law in this country. But they're not going to be finding out, are they? <laughs> yes, they are, because I'm afraid I'm going to have to be telling them. Oh, blimey. <laughs> now what am I going to be doing? Well, I think the first thing you should do is tell Sue Lee about your wife. 
Uh, she's already knowing it. She doesn't mind? Not at all. She's being very much in love with me. Well, look, you'll just have to tell her that the wedding is off. Ah, uh, she will be broken hearted. Yes, well, you should have thought of that before. Come in. Excuse, please. Miss Courtney say you won't see me. Yes, uh, come in, Suli. The uh, Ali has uh, something to tell you. Yes, Ali? <coughs> uh, well, uh, you see, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, well, uh, there is something very important you must be knowing. What is it? <coughs> uh, well, um, Mr. Brown will be telling you. <laughs> Ali! Uh, sit down, Suli. Well, I don't quite know how to say this, but it uh, has to be said. I do have something to say. It's about the wedding. I cannot marry Ari. You see, the point is... Pardon? I cannot marry Ari. Why can't you marry Ari? Ma marry Ari. <laughs> I'm not in love with him. But you must have said that you want him to, surely. Yes, I was being sorry for him at the time, but now I know it is not possible. How am I going to tell him? It will break his heart. Ah, uh, well, don't worry, Suli. I'll tell him. I'm sure I'll be able to let him down gently. Yes, uh, you leave it with me. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out, I'm sure. I'll have a word with him. Excuse me, please, Mr. Brown. Yes, Sally. Did you told Suli? Yes. Oh, jolly good. Now I'm being very happy with one wife. Good. I hope she didn't mind too badly of me. Well, I was, I was as tactful as I could be. I told her that it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Oi, 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 oi. What a beautiful thought. <laughs> was she very sad? Absolutely heartbroken. Did you tell Ari, Mr. Blount? Yes, surely. I, I told him it's uh, better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. <laughs> was he very upset? Broken hearted. Right, uh, now pay attention, everybody. Ali and Su Lee have had a long discussion and uh, by mutual agreement have decided to call off their wedding. We've already booked the pub. We've ordered all the toast and the drinks. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll just have to cancel. Excuse, please. You do not have to be cancelling it. But we have nothing to celebrate. Oh, blimey, yes, we have. My lovely wife is telling me that I'm going to be a daddy at last. <laughs> It's half an hour more. I say, come back. <laughs> Just a moment. Where do you all think you're going? <laughs> to the pub. Mr. Brown, this is most unsatisfactory. Well, I agree. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, there's this? only one thing I can do. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs>